Hi everyone and welcome to another Aegis Business Services tutorial video. Let's jump right in and process an employee reimbursement. The first thing we need to do is to create the clearing account. We will head to Accounting and Chart of Accounts and we'll be wanting to create a liability account. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go and see what numbers are available. I think we'll use 802. We can now go ahead and create the account. So the account type is a liability account. The code will be 802. And the name, for clarity, we'll call it Employee Reimbursement Payable. We will also want to ensure that it's BAS excluded. We'd like to show it on our dashboard and we would also want to enable payments to this account. We can save that and go back to our dashboard and there it is ready for us to use. What we need to do now is actually enter the bill which we'll be reimbursing the employee for. What we did is we had our employee email the invoice through to us to our Zero Files unique inbox, which is just there. So from here, we can just go and create the bill and it'll already attach itself. We can enter the details as we've used them before, the details are in there. The invoice dates the 1st of August. It was COD. For the reference, of course, it's the invoice number. It was for $20 and we'll make it tax inclusive. This was for copy paper and it was one ream for $20. We'll code this to printing and stationery, which should have GST on expenses. Quick check of the GST matches. Once all the details are correct, we can approve as normal. From here, this is where we need to now pay it to the new account. So we'll pay this off today as well. And we will pay it from the employee reimbursements payable account. We can add the payment and the bill has now been coded and we're ready to now reimburse our employee. Before we can do that though, we now need to create the account for which to reimburse the employee by. For this, we go to our payroll settings. From here, we will go to our pay items and we will add the correct reimbursement line. So we'll just simply add. And again, for clarity, we will call it employee reimbursement. The account will also be the previously created employee reimbursements payable, the clearing account. So we can add that and that's now ready to go. So for our final step, we'll fast forward to payday and we will now process the employee's pay. So they're ready to go. And all we need to do is go down to Sally, who we are reimbursing. We will go down to add reimbursement loan. Ensure we've got the correct one. So for description, again for clarity, because it's only one, we will put in paperwork's invoice for $20. We'll come across and add the amount in. And save. 
Once we're confirmed it's all there, we can process the payroll. And there we go. That's the whole process. To ensure it's all gone correctly, we can go firstly to our dashboard. And we should be able to see that our employee reimbursements account is now it's, it's still at zero. We can also go to our account transactions, navigate to the account, update, and here we go. We can see that we entered the invoice and paid it off to this account on the 1st of August, and then we cleared this account with a reimbursement through the payroll on the 15th, leaving a running balance of zero. Thank you for watching, and if you have any suggestions for further videos, please let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like if you found this helpful, and subscribe to be notified of new content.